Hello everyone a very warm welcome to Novation I am Shantanu and I am really very excited for another important session on Novation जिसमें हम लोग बात करने वाले हैं important global COVID-19 vaccines के बारे में so friends we will also see uh, what are the manufacturers of these vaccines in which country are they manufactured and what is the present status in terms of their efficacy and the phase in which they are also we will see any other important thing which you should know for your upcoming exams alright friends as always you can always contact me on these social media platforms for any query that you want to discuss and also please visit novation.in jahan par jaakar aap novation ko support kar sakte hain all right friends with that i'll jump straight into the session so friends uh, before we go into uh, which company has manufactured which vaccine it is important to know what are the different phases of a vaccine development so let's see it one by one the first phase is how will this vaccine work so researchers trying to find the best way uh, which should uh, which should be used in order to manufacture the vaccine for example jab hum dekhenge kaun kaun si vaccine develop hui hai so we'll also see which mechanism was used in order to develop that vaccine so in phase 1 we decide on the mechanism then in phase 2 is it safe what is the right dose so uh, the second phase is basically testing the safety of the vaccine and how much dose should we give to the patients coming to the third phase in which most of the vaccines are how effective is this vaccine so isme uh, human trial hota hai aur dekha jata hai ki humans par kitna effective hai aapki vaccine coming to the fourth phase so here uh, there are various regulatory regula uh, rules which need to be uh, followed and which should get approved by the government before the vaccine is actually launched for the public then coming to the last phase which is will it stay safe in the future so now you have tested that yes uh, the vaccine is safe but will it still remain safe in the future that also you need to discuss and you need to think about before making a vaccine okay friends so now coming to the first vaccine that we'll discuss it is developed by pfizer and uh, bio and tech so friends pfizer is a us company we all know and bio and tech is a german company so both of them are collaborating for this vaccine and uh, let's also see the ceo of pfizer he is mr alberta borla and uh, uh, ceo of bio and tech is uh, ugur sahin and the name of the vaccine which pfizer has developed is bnt162 so please do remember the name of the vaccine also the name of the companies then the mechanism of the phase 1 uh, thing that i told you so it is mrna based वैक्सीन फ्रेंड्स यू डोंट नीड टू गो इन टू द निटिग्रिटीज ऑफ द मैकेनिज्म आपको नाम बस पता होना चाहिए ऑल राइट एंड द ट्रायल फेज किस ट्रायल फेज में है ये सो इट इज इन फेज थ्री करेंटली मोस्ट ऑफ द वैक्सीन जो हम डिस्कस करेंगे वो फेज थ्री में ही होंगी ओके एंड फाइजर की जो वैक्सीन है फ्रेंड्स इसकी एफिकेसी आई है नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑल राइट एंड अपडेट सम इंपॉर्टेंट अपडेट सो यूनाइटेड किंगडम हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड टू अप्रूव बी एन टी वन सिक्सटी टू द कोरोना वायरस वैक्सीन डेवलप्ड बाय फाइजर एंड बायोटेक सो दे हैव अलाउड द यूज ऑफ फाइजर्स बी एन टी वन सिक्सटी टू फॉर दियर पब्लिक ओके यूके हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट कंट्री टू डू सो न कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट कंपनी सो मॉडर्ना मॉडर्ना इज अनदर कंपनी विच हैज डेवलप्ड अ वैक्सीन एंड द नेम ऑफ द वैक्सीन इज एम आर एन ए वन टू सेवन थ्री Let's see the headquarters of Moderna. So it is in USA, and the CEO of Moderna is Stephanie uh, Stephane uh, Bansal. So friends, uh, here again, as you can see from the name, the mechanism is again mRNA based vaccine. Now uh, it is in phase three trial, friends. Okay, again, and its efficacy is ninety four point one. So a slightly lesser efficacy than that of uh, the earlier one, which we saw by Pfizer. now important update related to moderna so moderna has announced that it will seek emergency use authorization for its vaccine candidate in high risk group so it will again uh, go to the U us government and ask for permission that at least for high risk individuals this vaccine should be allowed and it expects to have about 20 million doses earmarked for united states by the end of 2020 so 2020 ke end tak uh, sirf us ke liye ye 20 million doses taiyar kar lenge Uh, coming to the next one, uh, another very important one, uh, AstraZeneca and Oxford Vaccine Group. So both of them have collaborated. Oxford Vaccine Group is basically a department in the University of Oxford, and AstraZeneca is a company. So headquarters of AstraZeneca is in Cambridge, UK, and its CEO is Pascal Soriot. The name of the vaccine which they have developed is AZD one triple two. 
and the mechanism so this this mechanism is a different one replication deficient viral vector vaccine it's also in phase 3 trial and its efficacy is of uh, uh, 70.4 percent so friends what actually ha happened was the vaccine was able to protect around 70.4 percent uh those people who were becoming ill but uh, that was due to double doses so what they did was they gave a lesser dose and in that lesser dose they got a 90 uh, percent efficacy all right friends so this was the result of the final trial so 70.4 and 90 percent afterward that also you should know next one so yes uh, now serum institute of india which is in pune and uh, you must remember that uh, prime minister narendra modi also visited this institute so the headquarters is in pune and the ceo is mr adar punawala please do remember the name very important so uh, now serum institute is developing azd1222 which was the earlier vaccine which we saw uh, and it is jointly developing it with astrazeneca only and uh, here the name has been slightly changed its name is kept as Covi shield and its uh, mechanism is again same replication deficient viral vector vaccine which was same as that of uh, AstraZeneca and Oxford vaccine. Now the phase, it is in also in phase 3 trials but its efficacy is uh, very less around 62% and uh, let's see the updates. So uh, Serum Institute of India is the world largest vaccine maker by the number of uh, doses produced. So friends, this important fact is Serum Institute ke mein, ke isne ab tak mein sabse zyada vaccines in terms of doses produced. And it has sought uh, government approval for emergency authorization of coronavirus vaccine. So Indian government se bhi inhone request ki hai that please let us uh, uh, you know give uh, give us authorization to start vaccinating people. Very important fact here. Moderna and Pfizer's mRNA vaccines require minus 70 to minus 20 degrees Celsius of temperature, whereas AstraZeneca and Serum Institute vaccine uh, can work uh, in 2 to 8 degree temperature only. So you don't need to uh, do so much expense of getting refrigerator which can produce this much uh, uh, lesser degree of temperature. Aap isko 2 to 8 degree simple refrigeration mein bhi rakh sakte hai. So that's a very important advantage of Serum and Serum Institute of India and AstraZeneca's Covishield. Next vaccine comes from Russia and from Gamleya Research Institute, which is headquartered in Moscow. So the name of the vaccine is Sputnik V. So friends, you must remember that uh, Sputnik V is the first ever registered COVID-19 vaccine and it's produced by Russia. And its mechanism is non-replicating viral vector. It's also in phase three trial and its efficacy comes to be around 92%. Now important update which is related to India also. Uh, so India's major drug maker that is Dr. Reddy's Laboratories has ordered uh, from Russia Direct Investment Fund to procure around 100 million doses of Sputnik V uh, for consumption in India. All right, so this is what you have Next, uh, we come to uh, CanSino Biologics, which is a company in China and its headquarter is in Tianjin, China. Its CEO is Yu Ziu Feng and the name of the vaccine that they have developed is AD5 and cough. Now its mechanism is recombinant vaccine uh, vaccine. Now it's also in phase three trial and its efficacy was determined to be moderate. So they haven't provided any exact number. That's why I cannot tell you any number, uh, but it's it came to be moderate, which was less than the uh, uh, vaccines which were produced uh, by the Western countries or by Russia. And another update related to it. So according to one research, uh, there were adverse reactions such as pain, fever, fatigue, headache and muscle pain, which occurred to 83% of patients who were uh, monitored with the AD5 and cough vaccine. All right. So this you should know. Uh, please note down this company name also. Coming to next, Bharat Biotech and National Institute of Virology, Pune. So friends, uh, both of these, uh, the institute and company have collaborated to make the vaccine called Co-vaccine and its headquarter that is Bharat Biotech headquarter is in Hyderabad and its chairman is Dr. Krishna Ella and you must remember that in Hyderabad also our Prime Minister visited the uh, facilities of Bharat Biotech and uh, NIV is in Pune. So friends the mechanism of this vaccine is inactivated uh, vaccine. So friends what happens in inactivated vaccine is that a, a, a dead 
strand of covid-19 virus is introduced in the body of a person so that the immune system can get aware of the presence of such kind of virus so that it can adapt if any other further viruses enter the body and it can defeat it so basically introducing the immune system with a different type of dead virus all right uh, and it's also in phase 3 trial and its efficacy came to be around 60% so very important updates so what happened was uh, the haryana's health minister mr anil which he uh, he uh, volunteered to get the uh, phase 3 trial from uh, bharat biotech but what happened there was a controversy why because after he was introduced the covaxin he became covid 19 positive so what happened bharat biotech gave various explanation like the vaccine is not a single dose vaccine it is double dose vaccine that's why uh, he got covid 19 positive okay so there was this controversy related to it and the vaccine could uh, begin distribution as early as february 2021 so according to icmr scientist bharat biotech can uh, release their vaccine by february of next year next uh, we'll see another vaccine by chinese company sinovac and the name of the vaccine is corona vac and its headquarter sinovac headquarter is in beijing china and its ceo is wei dong yin now vaccine uh, mechanism is uh, again in a inactivated vaccine which is same as uh, bharat biotech and it is in third phase trial now friends there is this very high efficacy which they have obtained in their early trials which were conducted in indonesia but still since uh, it's not very uh, you know it hasn't been tested on a lot of people hence this effects efficacy can decrease in the future okay this is very earlier results now updates the trial in brazil was briefly suspended due to a patient's death so there was a, again a controversy related to it that uh, a patient died but uh, again the trial have been resumed after a certain pause and uh, company also says that there is no side effect of this uh, corona vac next one that we'll see is by zydus cadilla which is a indian uh, pharmaceutical company and its headquarter is in ahmedabad gujarat and the chairman is mr pankaj patel now the name of the vaccine which zydus cadilla is developing is zycov d and their mechanism is uh, dna vaccine they are in the second phase of trial so since they are in second phase their efficacy is still not uh, completely sure that's why i haven't given any figure but jab aap agar isko future mein is video ko dekh rahe hain so please uh, search for their efficacy it's really important now some updates uh, zydus cadilla has re received approval from drug controller general of india to start the final phase clinical trial of the on the covid 19 patient so inko bhi third phase ke trial ke liye permission mil chuki hai All right, friends. Uh, so with that, we come to end to this session. I hope the session was exciting, or आपको अब सारे doubts clear हो गए होंगे कि कौन सी company किस vaccine को develop कर रही है और उसकी status क्या है. All right, friends. So अगर आपको video अच्छा लगा है, तो please इसको like कीजिए, इसको आपके friends के साथ share कीजिए, and also subscribe to Novation for more important updates and for more knowledgeable videos. All right, friends. Uh, with that, I'll say bye bye, and again I'll request you to please visit Novation dot in uh, because uh, Novation need your support. you can go ahead and donate to novation and i'll be very thankful to you all right with that i'll end the session and again please take care and bye bye